most of the world doesn't conduct elections the way that we have now embraced as you know they're not America. foolish enough to yeah this is a covid movement that has now been retained you know that we are we are still voting or not on election day and not in person we are moving to massive mail-in balloting as really the bulk of our election not yet but we're on the path to that 100 percent. you know now when critics when we suggest hey that might not be the healthiest way to conduct a democracy critics would say what you don't want more people voting you you don't want as much of your populace taking place you know i would ask this in return if right now we decided you know what we're going to do from now on we're going to do internet voting all right all you have to do is click onto a website and click is that where we're headed like, Probably. Because That's where they'd want us to. Yeah, they'd love that. Listen, and I'm, I'm just here to tell you that more doesn't mean necessarily healthy. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Jet here. Fox and Friends are here to say the quiet part out loud. They don't want you to vote. They want less people voting, and I think we know exactly why that is. Their guys tend to lose when more people are voting. Everybody voting? Do you think everybody is invested in this? Is everyone is everyone familiar with the candidates? Do they know the issues? I think that there is a minimal effort in going to the poll that reflects a certain level of investment. Investment. And skin in the game. Yeah. And, and I think we're going to have to ask ourselves at some point in the not too distant future, what is the threshold of, of investment? Is it this, a click? Because we're headed there. Fox does this weird thing where they take generally good ideas like expanded health care and voting rights and always turn it into how much their viewers are going to lose if more people have access to a better life in the United States. Let's be clear, their business model is selling misery and having their viewers like it. Here is a great example, now and building on from 2020. They want people to be angry at those that vote via absentee and mail-in ballots. The reason why is simple. Those people, especially during the pandemic, were overwhelmingly demonstrated. Democratic voters. So now, casually glossing over the fact that military personnel have to vote via absentee ballot, they are telling their viewers to be upset that people don't show up for the day of voting. Voting should not be as simple as ordering an Amazon package because there's a lot more at stake with what you should be considering when you cast your ballot. Mm -hmm. Everyone get access to that information, and then whether it's a weekend or whatever it is, let's all go together to the polls so that we can all learn together what the result is, and most importantly, have faith in that result. Yeah. You want to say a threat to democracy? It's what we're watching in Arizona right now. Now, why would you want people to stand in long lines and the system to be a mess? because it makes them look better and less people can vote on the day of the elections. Also lacing that with some very clear disdain for people who physically are not able to go to the polls as well as conflating the effort with the idea that you don't deserve a say in democracy if we can't all be there on that one day. Thinking about, I'm thinking about a lot of things right now. I'm thinking, of, I'm thinking about all those men on the streets that Jesse Waters does or you ask the percentage of American people name the vice president of the United States, you know? Do you, what do you think percentages of people can name the vice it's president? It's not very States? high. I mean, but they and, still have a right. To all vote. of those. I'm not people, talking about taking anybody's right to vote yeah. away. I want everybody to have the right to vote. All I'm asking is that you understand a little bit what you're voting for. I got an idea. If this host thinks there is some effort needed, he can always join the military. He can always give up his cushy job and good pay and try to live in the shoes of someone who has to balance several part-time jobs and can't afford to miss that day, or else they can't pay their bills. Let's see what the effort means to him then. The other host, Rachel Duffy, believes that everyone should have access to the same news prior to voting so that they are making a more informed decision. Again, the irony being that they would have their base only listen to their side of any story and the misinformation. It worked with COVID, clearly, so they keep trying. And they go on and on saying a lot of things without saying what they mean. They want less people to vote because it may work out in their favor. What's also so ironic, again, is that their ideas of effort and holding up democracy depend on what Trump and his ilk have to say about it. They are now peddling that the only real way to be certain is hand counting a paper ballot and tracking it. Well, answer me this. How would you track a paper ballot without some advanced technology or some type of QR code, etc.? You gonna call your local elections office and bug them every day about where your one singular vote is? No, because they don't have the problem with the system as long as it favors them. We can expect a lot more of these poor, pitiful fox tears as the red wave continues to dwindle before their eyes, and we love to see it. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.